All right, Crucible of Worlds. Easy. Easy. Yep. And now they know. They're like, this piece of shit. Like, yep, you're not having fun for the rest of the game. It's just not happening. You're just never gonna have fun. <laughs> you too. You too. You too. We have casualties of frog. Great deck. So basically what we did this entire deck was play casualties of war every single turn, which is very disrupting and quite annoying if you couldn't even imagine it already. Um, so how we do that is basically we have Gitrog Monster out, Casualties of War, Mystic Sanctuary, and Crucible of Worlds. So Gitrog Monster, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice the monster unless you sacrifice the land. You may play an additional land at the uh, at, or sorry, you may play an additional land on each of your turns, which is always good. Uh, whenever one or more lands are put into your graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. So this is for, this is like super cool, right? And then we have Mystic Sanctuary, which is enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three or more other islands, which that's why we have a ton of um, the uh, cycle islands, like these ones, the, the pools, the shock lands that also act as islands, so we have three islands as much as possible, as consistently as possible. And then, when it enters in the battlefield untapped, you may put target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of the library. Amazing. So, at the beginning of our turn, uh, what we do is we sacrifice Mystic Sanctuary. Then, with Crucible of Worlds at, we play Mystic Sanctuary from our graveyard. Um, we put Casualties of War from our graveyard on top of our library, and then, you know, Whatever else happens, you know, we end up drawing a card, whatever, if we have Veraska out, we can sacrifice another land uh, to, to draw a card. There's just like a ton of things that we can do, but we do this literally every single turn. So casting Casualties of War is such a pain in the ass to deal with. Again, you're only gonna be able to do this once per turn until you get to 12 mana. Um, so it's nice that you're able to play a second land every single turn, but you still don't always get there. Uh, if you get Tamiyo out, then you can kind of feed the graveyard uh, with some more lands, which really does help. Um, but until you get Tamiyo out, you're pretty much stuck doing Casualties of War once a turn, uh, which isn't really that bad. Um, but Crucible of Worlds, you may play lands from your graveyard. This, again, is just amazing. Cast Mystic Sanctuary from your graveyard. Uh, and then for Ramp, we have Growth Spiral and Uro. Growth Spiral... Um, draw a card, you may put a land card from your hand into the battlefield. Uro is the same thing. Uh, when it comes into play, sacrifice it unless it was escaped. But when it comes into play or attacks, you gain three life, draw a card, and put a land card from your hand into play, uh, which is great. The escape cost, so once it's in your graveyard at all, you can pay four, exile five other cards from your graveyard, and put it into play. So this is just good in general. It's a good late game pressure. It's a win condition. Alternatively, um, for board wipes, we have four extinction events and four languishes. So extinction event, choose odd or even, exile each creature with a converted mana cost of the chosen value. Now this is very good because if we have Uro and or Gitrog monster out, both of these are odd. So a lot of times we'll try to call even for extinction event. Um, if we need to choose odd, most likely we won't have Uro or Gitrog monster out, so it's not a big deal. Um, even also hits tokens, and that's usually what we would have the most problems with. Uh, Languish, again, it's just a minus four, minus four to all creatures. It's really good. We have a Masterminds Acquisition. This is just to get stuff out of our sideboard primarily. Uh, we have a Vraska Golgari Queen. This is just a great four mana Planeswalker for loyalty. As a plus two, you may sacrifice another permanent. If you do, gain one life and draw a card. This is very good if we need to sacrifice the Mystic Sanctuary. With that, we also draw an additional card from Gitrog Monster if that's out. So we draw two cards from Vraska. 
Um, and then once it gets to the point where we can ult Baraska, we can do the minus nine and we're still swinging in since we're since we're casting casualties of war literally every single turn their board is going to be wiped even if they're hitting a land drop every single turn they're not going to be able to cast multiple creatures um so getting a free attack in is just super easy so the minus nine is um you get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player that player loses the game amazing um, the minus three is also very good. Destroy target non-land permanent with converted mana cost three or less. This works on artifacts, enchantments, planeswalkers, creatures, anything. Uh, and then of course we have Tamio, another four mana planeswalker, five loyalty. Spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanents. This is very good against the heavy discard meta as long as they don't know the technology. Uh, so if you're able to actually pull this off and they don't kill it right away, it can be very good. The plus one, choose a non-land card name, then reveal the top four cards of your library, put all cards with the chosen name from among them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Uh, this also hits a Gitrog monster, so if you have Gitrog monster out, you choose whatever name, Casualties of War, and a land goes into the graveyard, you get to draw a card from Gitrog monster, which is still super cool. Um, the minus three, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. So this can be very good if you don't have Gitrog monster out, um, or if you need a Mystic Sanctuary, uh, you can pull that from the graveyard, or you can pull Casualties War, you can pull Gitrog. Tamiyo is just very, very good here. Uh, and of course, the big, the big sweet finisher is finisher uh, is Casualties War. Six mana, um, choose one or more. Destroy target artifact, creature, enchantment, land, planeswalker. So you can destroy five things. Um, it's only one of each, so uh, it's just crazy. It's fucking insane. Outside of that, it's just a bunch of lands. Um, and then in sideboard from Casualties War, we have Tormod's Crypt. This is just exile uh, an opponent's graveyard. We have Infernal Reckoning. Uh, this is there to really just target Olamog. Uh, so exile target colorless creature. You gain life equal to its power. So exile Olamog, gain 10 life. It's very good. Uh, we have one Ginger Brute in sideboard. This is really just to finish everybody off with Veraska. So if you get the Veraska ultimate off, uh, you can masterminds so the next turn you can masterminds into a ginger brute make it so it can't be blocked except by creatures with haste so it's one mana and then one additional mana if their board isn't already clear and you swing in for one and kill them which is great uh, we have grab diggers cage just kind of prevents uh, any uh, creatures um, to enter from the graveyard to the battlefield this doesn't really affect us at all by not really it's just, I mean, it affects Uro, but we don't really care about that. Um, and then players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. We don't care about this. We're not doing anything. The only thing we're doing from the graveyard is putting lands into the battlefield, which this doesn't affect. We have Elder Spell if we need to blow up a bunch of different Planeswalkers. Uh, this just destroys any number of Planeswalkers. Choose a Planeswalker you control and put two loyalty counters on it for each Planeswalker destroyed this way. So this is really good if we want to get a very quick ultimate on Veraska, like for at seven, and we also have Tamio out, we can, uh, and we have one creature or something in there tapped out. You know, we can go into sideboard, get the Elder Spell, pay it, um, blow up our Tamio, put it on the Veraska, ult Veraska, and then swing in with like our only get Rog Monster or something, you know. Uh, it, it does have some tech and it can be very good. Uh, we have clear the mind because we do draw a ton of cards in this deck so um three mana target player shuffles their graveyard into their library draw a card just really good prevents us from decking out uh bantu's last reckoning this is just a three mana board wipe destroy all creatures lands you control don't untap during your next untap step this is worrisome um, but if you do this on a turn where you're not really casting anything else uh, it's very good Necromentia, this is also good against like Approach of the Second Sun um, and a couple other like Planeswalker decks or heavy control decks. Uh, three mana, choose a card name other than basic land cards uh, and then search opponent's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of those cards with that name, exile them, and that player shuffles their library and creates a 2-2 black zombie creature token for each card exiled this way. It's pretty good. Or exiled from their hand this way. Uh, we have Freyland Plague. This is really just to help against token decks. Uh, three mana enchantment. Uh, creature tokens get minus two, minus two. Which is good. 
Uh, Ashiok, again, more graveyard hate, but it's also good against uh, decks that search your library. Not many of them do, especially later on in the game when you need this. Uh, but spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause their controller to search their library. So it's good against Cultivate, um, you know, so whatever lands there are that blow up your land, they search your library, all that other stuff. Um, but you can minus one, target player mills four cards, then exile each opponent's graveyard. So you can mill your own graveyard, or mill your own library, and you can get a card draw from Get Rug Monster if you get a land. You can help Tamio if you need to get a card back from Tamio. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with that. Uh, we have Jace, because like I said, we draw a ton of cards. So if we're going up against a mill deck, we may need to grab this. It's just four mana Planeswalker. If you were to draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. Just an alternate win condition. Mirari's Conjecture. Uh, this is just a saga that kind of helps with the whole theme. Uh, you return target instant card from your graveyard to your hand when it comes into play. Uh, the next one is return target sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Also good. And then until end of turn, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it. You may choose new targets for the new copy. Uh, so this can be very good with uh, Casualties War if you're recasting it and stuff. Uh, Ugin, great Planeswalker. It's 8 mana for a 7 loyalty. Has a plus 2 deal 3 damage to any target. It's a great finisher. Great just like board clear up kind of thing. Uh, minus X. Uh, exile each permanent with converted mana cost X or less. That's one or more colors. Basically, we use this if we have to exile things. So if they're indestructible, that's really the only thing we can do to deal with it. He also has a minus 10 where you gain seven life, draw seven cards, then put up to seven permanent cards from your hand onto the battlefield. We won't really ever use this in this deck. Um, we'll use it more for the exiling purposes. Uh, we also have Olamog. This is kind of overkill. I don't think we'll really ever use this, um, but it's 10 mana for a 10-10 indestructible. Whenever you cast a spell, exile two target permanents. So this is also good for exiling uh, if you don't want to exile your own stuff, of course. Uh, this is just targeted exile, so you can also target lands from this. Um, but whenever it attacks, defending player exiles top 20 cards of their library, which is also good, and it's good in conjunction with Ashiok as well. Um, we also have Erebos Intervention. This is just X and a black. Uh, choose one. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. You gain X life. Or exile to twice X cards from graveyards. Basically, we use this for life gain. That's really all it's there for. Uh, it was a fantastic deck. Uh, it did very well. It was a little slow and painful, but it was worth it every step of the way. This one I highly recommend it, especially if you like Gitrog Monster and Casualties of War, all this bullshit. You'll love this deck, trust me. If you like land destruction and making opponents super salty, this is the deck for you. So if you end up taking this, playing it, let me know your success in the comment section below if you want this deck list. It is in the description below along with all of my social media links like the Discord, um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch, which I stream six days a week at twitch.tv slash striderstone. And of course, YouTube is seven days a week. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification. It really does help out the channel. Enjoy. Snap keep. The good thing about this is that this is an island, and this is an island, and this is an island, and this requires three islands. Nice. See what I'm saying, chat? We're big braining the shit out of this deck. You just don't even know. Don't even know. Don't you thought, Steve, me, you son of a bitch? That's kind of cool. Should 
Three, four, five. So we maybe we get Rock Monster next turn, I guess. No, this gets countered for sure, right? And they're presenting sensor, at the very least. So we care the least about this because we have masterminds to get out of sideboard or in main deck. Uh... Well, shit. All right, cool. You got it. Genuinely confused right now. How long did it take you to grow the magnet? About three years. Oh, did I miss everything? Oh, that was a while ago. Well, damn it, thought Steve. All right. That is quite unfortunate. Did they shock in a land just there? They do. Very confused as to what they're doing. Like, I kind of know what they're doing, but not really. I knew I should have put Ashiok in the sideboard. There are self mill. It's kind of what it looks like, but it's not like aggressive self mill. You know what I mean? I don't know if we care about that yet. Let's try to get a counter spell out of their hand. And then next turn, I'll masterminds for a uh yeah. Yeah, so next turn, all masterminds for a casualties of war and hope that goes through. And then I will plus Veraska and play that Mystic Sank. I don't 
Um, you draw one from that. Okay. So this is still a big problem. That's even, odd, odd. Interesting. An unfortunate Okay. It's odd. Oh, it's a problem. It's a problem. Don't have a way to get rid of that. I mean, we do, but... So they go, they're safe about it. So they could take two extra turns, which is the fucking balls. They don't take two extra turns. Missed mana because of that. But I was gonna get my Elder Spell and kill that now. Alright, well, opponent punted there. Luckily. I think they realized that they fucked up just a little bit too soon. I think they might have meant to minus 10, but they accidentally did a plus one. I think that's what happened. Honestly think that's what happened. Oh, that's right. We are we also have maelstrom pulses We do have ways to get around okay, yeah, we do have tools we do have tools we did pop off we did pop off But having multiple ways to get rid of um Or having <laughs> <coughs> Having multiple ways uh, to get rid of planeswalkers and uh, okay whatever we'll just do this i don't know if he can get another life out of that i don't know oh uh, we need more we need more lands on the battlefield Fuck! Put it on the healer's hawk. Thank you. Thank you, opponent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Easy. Easy.
What up, Spectre? Not really what we wanted. Hmm. Swing for two. Pokey. Easy game. I like how you play like they don't have Heliod, yeah, that's what they always do. I know. It's so sad. <sighs> Tribunal. Now you have a big girl soul warden. That's at three. Hey, two more counters, that's one. So they can activate their Heliod again, so I'm gonna have to languish. Giant Killer says, well played. Uh, Veraska doesn't do anything. God damn it. Is Helia glowing? I don't know. It may be because it has a plus one plus one counter. Maybe. That gets rid of two white sources. It's good. We get to Veraska, blow up that Soul Warden, we're at five? Ooh, maybe because it's indestructible, yeah. Today is my lucky day. Please don't have the three mana thingamajig. Right, so they go for the Veraska. get a land we can play tomato All right all right we got an untapped land we could have played tomato two three four one two, four five another fucking giant killer All right, we need an untapped land or a casualties of war. Untapped 
untapped land. That works too. We do have a... I mean, we have a lot of answers. It's just very terrifying. Curse of getting what you ask for, but in the wrong. Yeah. Um. Oh, two mystic sanctuaries. Perfect. Exactly what we need. No. Getting the tomato or the Verasca? Damn it! I got the tomato chat. Oh, I should have played the Gitrog monster, I think, first. Yeah, I should have played the Gitrog monster. What up, Tuggers? What's going on, Toe Smasher? It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. What are we playing today? We're playing some ridiculous nonsense. Don't have enough. Although I needed to kill that. Have to kill the flyer? We do. It is correct. We have infinite casualties? We do. Shouldn't be playing creatures to swing now. If we had the mana, yes. Now we have the mana. An unfortunate <laughs> Could lose. Oh, no. I thought I had an attack. Yeah, return it. I know. I know to return it, but I would have killed her. And I didn't want to kill her. Get some life with Uro? Why? The end justified. 
Well, to be fair, we're about to deck out. <laughs> oh yeah, we just minus nine, yeah. Just minus nine, yeah. I don't know why I thought it was 10 at first. Easy game. <laughs> land-based land destruction deck. This is definitely not land-based land destruction. Opponent hasn't figured out. We have official... <laughs> we have official form of Voltron. <laughs> What up, Entropy? Hen Hen? I don't think I said what's up to everybody. I'm, I missed a bunch of people. What the fuck? Apollo, how you doing? TME, what up? I think I got everyone now. There's no way we'll miss land drops now. There's no way we'll miss land drops now. You're a great merfolk player. I can't imagine the power level of your deck. Hey. I'm not really angry at merfolk players. I'm angry. I'm angry at them for exposing the holes in the deck. Actually, this is exactly why I had. That's right. Mono white. The exact reason I had Maelstrom Pulse. But it's fine, as long as we have lands. Exposed holes. Ow! Could you please knock it the fuck off? Take that fucker. Enjoy your 1-4. And then, you can fuck off. Right after that. Sounds like a 90s grudge band. Exposed holes. It's true. I'm risking it. Okay. It's a bad risk. It's so, alright. Minus three. Get back this casualties. And then opponent surrenders? Excited. Oh, wait. I will address that after the game. I can't go into spoilers um, while I am playing. Um, because these games are going on YouTube and there's people on YouTube that don't want to see the spoilers or know about the spoilers. Guess who didn't see the Sharknado come? L O L. <laughs> Dude, procession is hilarious. I like procession. 
don't know why I kept this hand. I had no idea why I kept this hand. What up, Mal? Hello, Sir Emix. Alright, this is pretty good against aggro, I suppose. No mulligan stream? That's fair. Team no moly. I was about to type how I didn't like to play six mana to destroy one land. You thought wrong. Well, against mean, you have no confidence in your deck. It's true. If you don't believe in the deck, the deck will not believe in you. That's just deep, bro. That's deep. Don't really need all three of those. Do have three islands, so we can get our language back, which is sweet. I actually really like Mystic Sanctuary. Even. I counted. Two equals even. Nice. Alright. Please draw lands. It's even, even, odd. This is odd, so we're good. Okay, hey, chat, this is bad. Why did you decline languish? Because I needed land drops. Decline. Yeah, because they need land drops. And we also had two other board wipes in our hand. And we also still have three more Mystic Sanctuaries and three Tamios. Didn't really think it was necessary. I do appreciate Watsy finally making lands at the mythic slot. Sacrifices must be made. Huh. Oh shit. I'm not gonna talk about it. Keep forgetting. Stop talking about the spoilers in the middle of the game. What the fuck is wrong with you? After I talk about it, I say no spoilers during the game. You don't say shit in between games. And then all of a sudden, game happens. Now you start talking about the spoilers. <laughs> Getting skamazed here by chat. Um As long as we win, nothing else matters. Here's when Gingerbread is GG. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely right. Oh. 
that's even. Hope you play another creature. That's odd. It's even as well. Even. Yeah, that is the dead. That's double dead. Not only do they die to Varaska, they die to the Demuge. <sighs> there is just, there's no way to get... I mean, Underrealm Lich with Gitrog Monster is a really fantastic combo, because you can get all the shit in your hand that you want, right? Because anytime a land goes into the battle or into the graveyard from anywhere, you draw a card. So it's like a crazy fucking combo because whenever you draw a card, instead look at the top three cards of your library, put one in your hand, the other two into the graveyard, right? And so you pick one card and then the other two cards, if one of them is a land, you draw another one, which looks at the next three cards of your library. You pick one and if one of the other ones are a land, you put that into the graveyard and then you draw another card because Gitrog Monster procs every single time. Call it no Underrealm Lich deck. What up, Riptron? It is a... Uh... I didn't even look at the hand. It is a infinite casualties of war. I, I guess infinite is a loose term. Every single turn, we get to do casualties of war. If I ever get to 25k, we'll be playing Hyper Cancer. All right. At least we have Extinction Event, right? Land? It's not a fucking land. Alright, this is bad. We have a 40... 49% chance! Odd. I call odd. You better ritual or whatever it is that you're doing. Burial rites or whatever it's called. Eliminate. Okay. I don't want him to feed his graveyard because I don't know what they're doing yet. And then next turn, I can Veraska kill that? And just kind of start from there. Yeah, so that's definitely not bad. We're gonna die with four board wipes in hand? It's possible. It's definitely possible. Let's get haste. Does not have haste. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Okay, it doesn't have haste. That's good. I don't have any other big baddies. Let me get this. Then next turn, I'll look for casualties of war with uh, Tamio, just in case. What is this one? Underrealm Lich with Gitrog Monster is a really fantastic combo because you can get all the shit in your hand that you want, right? Oh. Mansplain? Odd and even. Okay. Two, 
three, four, six. Casualties of war. Cool. Got it. It's casualties of war a good card? It's not bad. Is not bad. Okay. So I'm gonna have to actually odd. Disappointing. I guess I should have done this first before I Tamioed. Yeah, opponent got a lot of mileage. A lot of it. Do we even have any? Rude. Finally, a fucking casualties. Really disgusted by mono black players who have all the same art? I know. And it's not even the good art. Illidrites and that thing. Okay. Land creature. Huh? Seek and find. Um, let's get a mastermind's acquisition. Or not? There we go. There's that masterminds. Sweeping beauty? Oh my god. Guess I should have done an untapped land. Deck name War, what is it good for? I think that's too long. And just tell them that you'll give them um, some free e-juices if they just do a review or whatever. That's one of the best things to do. So even if they're small, because if they have 100 followers and they're all local, it's a high possibility that it's a high possibility that those people 
have followers that are also local. I think promotions are good too. Um, they can be. I wouldn't... I don't think I would, personally. Not when you're starting out. I wouldn't advertise it as promotion, because if it's like... I mean, a launch sale? You could do a launch sale, I suppose. That's not the worst idea. So we're gonna grow spiral, put this into play, but we're not gonna put grow spiral on the top of our library. Yeah, I would say contact the people that are local in the vape community through Instagram. The smaller to medium sized influencers, like they don't need to be big. Odd. One more land and we can casualties. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, that's good. One more land. Uh, we can look for a Languish here. Languish actually kind of fucks the majority of their deck up. And then we'll minus uh, for a land. Mastermind for a lands. Yeah, I was just going to get Tamiyo out. Would have been nice. No tail should be discarded. And sure, it's not good. This is annoying. I haven't seen you puff the hookah in a while. Yeah. I ran out of coals and I just haven't gone back and was like, eh. Rude. Feeling when your body starts to go with your suicidal tendencies. My research has been Got my toes stuck in the leg of my pants. The other leg while trying to sit down. Nearly face myself on the table. Jesus. And planeswalker creature. Alright. I think we're I think we're at a safe South Ox. The ten bits. What up B, how you doing? What's going on? Let me... Holy shit. Giving all the subs. Holy shit. I need to calm down. Alright, hold on. Kinda wanna search for a casualties of war. Again? I think we do that. I want to search for a casualties Ooh. award. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. That is more sixteen. 
And bits. There was 10 more. I know you've done bits in the past, but I just recently started doing this. Thank you so much, Salatox. I really fucking appreciate it. All the support you've given me. How you been? Just working? All I do is work these days? I feel you, man. I am the same. All right. Other than that, I'm okay. That's good. I'm gonna think about it a lot more. I think my very next priority has to be getting a real logo designed. Can't have a brand without a name and a logo. That's true. Odd. We've held that in our hand, like, since the beginning of the game. Oh. All right. Well... Yes, Lucas, welcome to Sodium City, an official citizen. Jesus. All right, we haven't gotten a Gitrog monster yet. Put back all of our Tamios. We're good. The Varaska would be great. We have found all of our lands. We just had to shuffle all of our cards that we cast back in. Yeah, that's all we needed to do. We just needed to cast a bunch of spells and um, yeah, and then that's it. Yeah, things that are minimalistic are pretty good. And there's still some really good people on Fiverr that you can hire. Uh, don't think I'll ever have to do that again, but just in case. Getting some $200 art for every time. Yes, we like these. We like these. Casualties. Casualties of war. To the library. Easy. Easy card draw. We're doing it. Also, you're welcome, bro. But it can help out every now and then. Yeah, no, it's really nice of you. That wasn't very nice. I believe in the land drop. We didn't get the fucking land drop. <gasps> Jesus, 10 more bits, Salatox? Holy crap. All right, let's add you. Boom, doing that submit. 
have been immortalized. Jesus. All right, Crucible of Worlds. Easy. Easy. Yep. And now they know. They're like, this piece of shit. Well, like, yep, you're not having fun for the rest of the game. It's just not happening. You're just never going to have fun. <laughs> Yo, what up, YouTube? Yeah, we going here, Strider. Come on. You didn't really think that I was that type of person, did you? Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you were even a little bit entertained by this video, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you have anything that you would like to see next, go ahead and leave that there, too. And make sure to check out my live stream five days a week, every day except Sunday and Thursday. Stream times down below.